Welcome to the Someone Gets Me podcast, where you'll hear stories of inspiration and hope realized. Hosted by Diane Allen, intuitive empowerment mentor who specializes in working with people who want to be freed from being stuck in life. You will hear personal stories and professional insights, along with tips on how to conquer overthinking, procrastination, and more. Here's Diane. Hi, everyone. It's Diane again. And today I have a great interview for you. I have this great, amazing woman with me who we could kind of travel in the same circles here in Florida. But one of the things I love about her is her enthusiasm for life. She's a genuine, authentic, amazing person who has such a diverse experience and journey that you are going to be so inspired. So I invite you as you listen to this episode to put down whatever's distracting you and really listen because I think you're going to get some words of wisdom that are amazing. So I'd like to introduce you to my guest today. Her name is Tamara Benson, and she is passionate, like to the cell level, about making this world a better place from the inside out. You know, so many people look around and want to fix the outside things and not really look at the inside. Well, Tamara knows better, and she really cares about the inside of a person. She herself is dedicated to always evolving and transforming and growing. And you'll just, I see her all over the place, either in social media or I I was just doing a live TV show not recently and there was her name, you know, like wherever I go, there she is, which means she's a, somebody who's awake and alert and paying attention. So you're going to love what she has to say. Her mission is to help women really empower themselves from the inside out. And I think it's really cool. I'm going to let her tell you the story, but she's in real estate and mortgage and she was always great at creating the outside dream home for people. And then she shifted even more to helping people with their inside world. So I can't wait to hear that story of how that happened. She does meditation and yoga and has an amazing practice that helps her on her journey. And I think you're going to get some really good nuggets from her. I'm so excited to have Tamara on the show. Welcome Tamara to the show. Wow. Thanks, Diane. That was amazing. (laughs) Um, Yes. I am just here working on my inner self so that I can help others with their inner houses. Um, I was in real estate and mortgages. I still dabble in the real estate world, but I'm focusing on helping Others raise the vibration um, of their souls so that they can shine bright in the world. Oh, I love that. So for the viewer, or for the listeners out there who aren't really sure about what raising vibration means, how would you define that in the way you do it? Well, it started with meditation. I never, I tried it one time a long time ago and I didn't get very far, but uh, about a year and a half ago, I started meditation. I was in a pathway to miracle group and it was just asked of me to try meditation for the days of the the sessions which was 37 days and i was like okay i didn't really know what i was doing but every day i learned more every day that i meditated it, it would come clearer and clearer to what i needed to do in order to just focus on the inner self um so i went within and i just the journey has been amazing. It's just opened up the doors to just so much joy and gratitude um, for God, for others, for myself. Oh, I love that. See, there's already the nugget of information, right? Starting out meditation and not really knowing what to do, but being willing and open to giving it an honest shot. So there, you've already gotten a tip for the day right there, because that mentality is what pays off, right? Being open-minded, you know? Yes. So tell us a little bit about how your um, journey has been, like you, you know, how it all started, that you started really growing on the inside out and, and where it's led you. It sounds like it's been just really powerful and amazing. Well, I have to tell you, I started my life running from myself. Sorry. <laughs> no, get, I knew this would, I would get tears, but um, I started just not knowing what I was running from, but I didn't want to deal with the world. And so I spent a lot of time doing things that I shouldn't be doing. And it was just a miracle that I was able to figure out that I was running from 
nothing. I, what I needed was already inside of me. So I was looking and searching. I was always running, but looking for something that would help me feel better. And it's inside all of us that helps us to be a better person and to live life joyfully and gratefully and to shine bright. Oh, that's so true. You know, I think everybody starts that, looking outside for the answer. We live in a Western culture where everything's outside of us, but the real gift and our the real help is inside. We've already got it all. So you said that perfectly, and it's so true, right? When we wake up one day and go, whoa, what am I running from? Huh, nothing. Oh, it's all inside of me. It's, it's an epiphany, and it's a duh at the same time, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you, you finally... You got to the place where you tried that meditation and you realized the answers were, were within. What's the journey been like since then? Oh, wow. Well, in this time period, a year and a half, I've gone from chronic pain throughout my body. Every ounce of my body would hurt because of arthritis and inflammation. I didn't realize that I was in so much pain. I just thought that was normal until it went away. And that was by everything that I did was doing the meditation was just bringing things to me that I didn't even know I needed, like the proper diet, just cutting out the gluten and the dairy and the sugar and everybody's different. So it, it just has to do with what works for you in your body. But in five days time of just eating raw fruit and veggies, I was uh, 95% pain free. So I was shocked. I was like, wow, this is pretty amazing. And so that realized my dream of doing yoga on the beach. Um, before that, I was in so much pain, I couldn't actually enjoy it. It was excruciating through my body. Um, so now I'm able to do the yoga on the beach. I can do just about anything. And that's joyful. Oh, that's awesome. So you stuck with meditation and you started getting the messages on how to change your diet through your meditation and you followed the guidance. And it yes. transformed your life, and now you're pain free and able to do things you couldn't do before. That right. is amazing. That is awesome because that is how it works, right? But most people don't really believe it. There's probably y'all are sitting out there and thinking, wow, well, that happened for her, but not for me. But that's not the case. If it can happen for Tamara and me and other people, it can happen for you too. So maybe be open minded if you've been going, oh, no, meditation's not for me because Tamara thought that once and now she's got a different life. So you might want to might want to listen to her, I'm thinking. <laughs> so you do meditation on the beach or yoga on the beach and things like that. Um, what else do you do for yourself that help yourself become a higher vibration, more light being? Well, I have learned the practice of Reiki, Reiki healing. So I, I became Reiki certified and that helps inner healing as well. And I just, I'm just led to different energy sources that um, I didn't even know about, and that leads to greater well-being. I think that's really important because, you know, I always tell everybody that 80% of our healing, and, our, and healing for me means to be reconnected to our source, to God, is nonverbal. That a, a minor part of our healing and being reconnected is actually verbal. And what you just said is really powerful because it is nonverbal. It is energy source. It is, it is things. Reiki is not verbal. It's energetic, yet it's very powerful because our experience and our body needs to heal, come together, be more together by shifting the vibration, which is not a verbal action. And you're a smart woman, and so it's easy to get caught into figuring things out. It doesn't sound like you spend a lot of time overthinking and figuring. It sounds like you're a little bit more into the paying attention to where the energy leads you. Is that true? That's true. It just, I, I, doors would just open. I wasn't even aware that they were there. And I, from one thing to another, I just kept learning and learning more about myself, more about the world, more about how to share energy and love and light and energy. We're all energy. So and everything is energy, money, um, apples, plants. Mm -hmm. It's all part of energy. Perfect. Yes. And so when you learn how to play with energy and shift it and move it through, it, it does heal us and it does decrease pain and it does make our overall sense of well-being and happiness and satisfaction happen for us instead of being all 
difficult and painful and I call it gooky and heavy. <laughs> right? Right. Definitely. I know that um, you work with people, mostly women, right? Yes. So can you think of a story maybe of somebody you've worked with, obviously without saying their name or anything that was identifying, that particularly inspired you or like a success story or maybe somebody who was really struggling that, that um, you got to be one of the people in their journey to help free them from their struggle? Well, there's so many. Um, let's see. I would say it's, I just love that I get to share positivity every day. Um, so every day I actually hear somebody saying, thank you so much for your inspiration. And, um, you know, it's just, I'm just so grateful because I want to share this with other people. It's not about me. It's about everyone just enjoying life and living their fullest life. I can't really pinpoint one. I, I feel like there's so many and I just, if I can make a difference in one person's life, I'm so grateful. Oh, that's awesome. So you run in, so do you work with people individually or how do, how do you work with somebody? Like if I wanted to work with you, what would I do? Well, you can contact me um, by messenger or text or phone. Mm -hmm. We can still use the phone now <laughs> yes. um, and uh, schedule an appointment. And I just offer one-on-one Reiki infused body flows. Uh, I also have Reiki sessions and I have a medical energy device that I provide sessions with that is pretty outstanding. So a medical, me a medical what device? Medical energy. Medical energy it, device. Okay, explain that. <laughs> well, it helps your blood flow. Mm -hmm. So um, it helps your blood flow 30% faster, which if you have blood flow and proper oxygen, once you have the blood flow, your oxygen is flowing better and the nutrients are absorbed better and your toxins are removed quicker. That's everything you need. It's, um, it's amazing. Wow, that's really cool. So do you do Reiki sessions for people like long distance, like through Zoom or whatever, or do you only work with people in physically in person with you? No, I can do long distance healings and I have done several of those in a day. It's just amazing and they always feel um, quite better afterwards. Oh, that's amazing. So that so you're very open and available to helping people raise their vibration and clear out all the staticky, gooky stuff, as I call it. Yes, that would be what I am here to do. Awesome. So that's like your, your heart's vision. That's what your soul is here to do. And you, I can see that looking at you. Um, I can feel it and I can see it. I have goosebumps because <laughs> it's so clear to me. It's amazing, right? Yes. So have you ever um, worked with somebody who or maybe yourself, maybe you've gone through this, has difficulty with like procrastination or knowing what they need to do, but not being able to get past whatever the bump is to get into the solution behavior, even if they know, and is procrastinating. And if so, um, do you have any tips or suggestions or things that might, you know, help somebody who's listening who maybe is struggling with procrastination? Like, yeah, I want to meditate, but, you know, and then they have all these excuses or yeah, but, you know, and that's all procrastination. Well, I would be one that procrastinates, but I'm learning how to deal with that by meditation. I, I have to point out that meditation, actually, a lot of people think that they don't have enough time. Once you start meditating, you actually have all the time you need. It's, it's mm -hmm. just amazing how it happens. Um, time is actually irrelevant and you just flow so much smoother through life. Yes. I've heard that phrase before. Um, if you have a busy day, meditate twice as long. Right. Well, that sounds great. Uh, I like that. Yeah. And that's, that, that's kind of what you're saying, you know, that Yeah. we have that perception. We don't have time, but we do. Right. Um, yeah. And um, basically, our ancestors are waiting for us to have this position for these opportunities for us so that yes. we can change the world um, to a higher vibration, mm -hmm. higher level of love and peace and joy, happiness. Once you have that, um, you have everything. Yes, it's true. We do have everything once we're in that space, right? Right. So 
I know um, that you do photography, right? I dabble in it. You dabble with, with photography? With my iPhone. <laughs> well, I, I, don't have a, I don't have an actual camera, but I do love to, I just happen to get very unique pictures by doing selfies. I capture a lot of things that are so amazing. They amaze myself. And, and you share them. I share them with inspirational cool. messages. So do the inspirational messages, you just find cool quotes that go with them or, and some of them are from you too. Like it's just a varied. It's a, it's a variation. I like to try to put my own twist to things. Mm -hmm. Everything's been said. It, it can be said in so many different ways and um, you know, but it's all valuable. Right. I have a friend of mine that, who's a musician and he says every, all of us who are creator visionaries like you are and me, are um, spiritual plagiarists that everything's been said in one form or another by everybody because those higher truths are so universal. And so it's really about going to our core and our center and expressing authentically from there. And even if the message sounds similar or it's different, it's our unique autobiography and our unique soul calling that's added to it. So here you are adding your, it to your photography, you know, and that's and beautiful. And you may not have been open to receiving that message before. And you might just, it might be just said at the perfect time that it make, makes a big impact on you at that time. So that's important to just be present, be yes. here now. Yes, that, that is important. I've had, I've had clients of mine call me up and go, have you read this or know this or whatever? I go, yeah, five years ago, I taught it to you, you know, and they're like, well, I just heard it for the first time. I said, right. I said, we're, when we hear it, when we're ready, and you might hear the same sentence or the same idea. For years, but then with a little meditation or personal development or work or just an open-minded situation in that particular day, you're good. And then you get the message, right? Right. So that's cool. So do you put any of these cool pictures on Instagram or Facebook or social media? Oh, I like to put them on Facebook a lot. And I do, I go to Instagram once in a while, but Facebook is really, I believe it's a great tool for the world. I've that's where I found that the, re the reason why I have no pain anymore, <laughs> you know, right. Facebook. So I, I, I love Facebook cool. for so, sharing information. So what I'm going to do is put the link to your Facebook page in the show notes so you all can follow Tamara and, That'd be great. and follow her cool inspirational things. Like I already do. I already see them all. And I can tell you that if you're one of those people who really would like an extra little boost here and there, or maybe you're just feeling like you're not sure what to do next, or maybe you're already a motivator person and you like to know there's another person who gets it, I would follow Tamara on Facebook. I already do, but you might want to do that. So I will put her Facebook link in the show notes so you can get on there and follow her and you can even tell her you heard her on the show and then she'd be really happy because, you know, sometimes we don't know who's listening to us, even though we can see numbers, but we like to know who the people are. What I want to do now is ask you to say a little bit about anything that maybe you want to talk about that I didn't ask you about? Well, I, I have an interesting story uh, about energy, how the energy flows. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's a little simple example. But just last week, I had a girlfriend who said that she, she was at a, um, at an expo, a spiritual expo, and she was hungry. So she spent an extra $10 that she didn't realize, you know, she didn't think that she should actually spend the money on. She should probably pay that towards electric or, or her mortgage or something like that. But she was hungry. So she spent an extra $10 on some spiritual um, healthy food. And when in talking to that gal, she told her about me and referred her to me about the medical energy and so she came over and had a session and so the energy is just flowing and I didn't know about it until like two days later when I picked her up I offered to give her a ride because her car had gotten demolished um, last month so I offered to give her a ride home so it was like the money just the energy flowed between all of us and who knows what was who who else we helped with with the energy of the money because you know, some, the food had to go into preparation. I just find that was like, just, just a simple explanation of how the energy flows. And I just love that. Yes. And it's on a, it's a 
it happens all the time. It's constant. Right. And even when we're not paying attention to it, it's happening, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. It's like gravity. We may not be paying attention to it or we may not even believe in it, but it's still happening. Right. And, and the miracles that are, they're always been there, but until you're open to receive them, you, you might just miss them. So just always be aware, just to let them, let it happen. (laughs) Be here present. Yeah. I think awareness is a big one, you know, because, you know, in fact, I was talking about it today with one of my clients. Awareness is the first step in everything. I, I believe it's not just being honest or open or willing or whatever. It's about first I have to be aware that something's up or that I desire to grow or maybe my soul is saying something different, you know, like check this out or look at that or there's got to be more even. And or, you know, that message of I don't have to live like this. I can change or there has to be a different way. Something like that to have awareness of what's happening so we can then take the next step. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I like that story. That's cool. I'm going to put your, you have a website, right? Yes. Just my name, full Tam- name and dot com, Tamara Benson dot com. Tamara Benson dot com. You want to spell it? T-A-M-A-R-A-B-E-N-S-O-N dot com. Perfect. And I will put that link in the show notes as well. So people can connect with you there. Is there a, they can contact you through your website, right? Correct. Awesome. That's great. I'm so excited. It's it's so fun to have you on the show because (laughs) I think it's so important for everybody, you know, all of us, you and me included in this to be reminded that, you know, today we're not where we once were. And in a month or 90 days, we're going to be in a different place than we are today. And if we keep our our vision and our energy focused toward something that's of a higher vibration, that's more kind and gentle and loving and alive, however that looks to us, then we can't help but be that beneficial presence and the world can't help but be better because there's more of us doing that. So the work you're doing is so powerful and so amazing. And I don't know in human form that you'll ever know the amazing benefit of whose lives you touch with your photography or, or how the energy flows through people you know, but also the people who don't know, don't know you personally, but are impacted by your, your high vibration and your desire and your calling to be that present. So, you know, on behalf of all the people out here in the world, thanks for doing your work. It's really cool. Oh, thank you. Yes. I also um, shared it, my story. You can find my story in a book series, Women Who Influence is the the book I was in with 30 other, 29 other authors. And it's just our stories of adversity to triumph and the tools and sources that we use to lift ourselves up and in order to hopefully help others. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't know about the book. What's the title of the book again? Women Who Influence. Women Who Influence. Yes. So is it sold on Amazon? It's on Amazon. You can actually, um, I can send a mail out an autographed copy as well. So you can find that my contact information on my website. Um, it's a part of a series. So it's just amazing. Uh, the f- first book was two years ago, women who inspire, I'm sorry, women who ignite and then women who inspire came out and then women who influence and women who impact just launched last month. They're just uh, over a hundred stories. So it's like an evergreen type book where you can just read one story and skip around or read it from cover to cover, however you like to read, but it's amazing. And women who illuminate is coming next. If you have any questions about being in that book, just hit me up and I'll, I'll share how to illuminate the world. Oh, that's awesome. So contact Tamara through her website so you can get the autograph copy and you can have the real deal and her cool energy on it versus going to Amazon and not getting the autograph copy. Support her directly because that's the way to do it. Awesome. I'm going to get one of those books. That's cool. So what I want to do now is um, make sure there's nothing else that you would like to share with all of us so that then we can say, you know, say goodbye. Well, um, you can always join me on the beach for a one-on-one yoga experience or I actually do a Reiki infused body flow and check out the medical energy. If you want to hear more about that, I'd love to share that too. 
That's wonderful. So if you are in the Tampa Bay area of Florida, or you're traveling to this area, Tamara's in the St. Petersburg area, which is part of Tampa Bay. And I'm sure that if you're traveling to this area or you already live here, you can contact her and set up a really great appointment in person, or you can contact her through her website and work with her virtually and then come see her in person. <laughs> You'd love to Sounds meet her in person. So, you know, wonderful. it's worth the trip. It's worth the trip. Come, on, come to Florida on a vacation. Oh, yes. Sunny Florida. <laughs> I know. It's beautiful. So I want to thank you very much for taking the time out of your busy life to um, be on the show and be interviewed. And, and I don't give anyone the questions in advance of what's coming. And so you've been a really good sport with <laughs> all the things I've asked you. And, and I just appreciate the work that you're doing with people. And, and it's, you're such a blessing. And so don't ever forget that. Okay. Well, thank you, Diane. I really appreciate that you gave me this opportunity. Awesome. You're amazing. Well, <laughs> Thank you. So everybody remember this, keep your face to the sun because the shadows then will fall beside, behind you, right? And you are a rock star. So go out there and be everything you're meant to be, just like Tamara did. You'll see it really works. Thanks for tuning in to Someone Gets Me. To find out more, please visit Diane's website at MissDianeAllen.com. That's M-S-D-I-A-N-N-E-A-L-L-E-N.com. Be sure to take a second and subscribe to the show and share with anyone that you think may benefit. Until next time, remember the world needs your special gift. So let your light shine.